Please tell me this isn't a dream. It isn't. And last night? Perfectly real. Should I remind you? I was transformed, transported by your touch. I think that I finally understand courtly love. It's having a connection with someone, not just a physical one, but with your mind and your soul. And yes, the sex is incredible, but the most incredible part is knowing that you love me and my heart is safe with you. I shall protect your heart with my very life. I trust you completely, Spinelli. I feel like I could tell you anything. Especially after the way you sang to me last night. You'll have my heart forever, you know that, right? I love you so <laughs> much. Will you marry me? Is this part of some ritual of courtly love after you have hot sex you propose marriage <laughs> no a proposal of marriage is not in fact a component of courtly love I, such relationships were often star-crossed secret and unconsummated I, for example I, I doubt that Essex and Elizabeth that their forbidden love they were ever allowed to consummate it well, that's awful I, I mean why even bother without love life is meaningless and when, when two such when two people find each other and share such emotion it is the rarest of gifts i i can think of nothing nothing more exquisite than spending my life with you committing to you body and soul really yep my proposal while impulsive was most heartfelt and sincere to wit i ask you again Will you do me the honor of becoming my bride? I, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, just do what I did, speak what's in your heart. Um, my heart is very full. There's lots of feelings in there. I'm not quite sure which one to pick. Um, I do have one thing to say, though. Oh, oh look at the time. I'm gonna be late. Wait, 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 wait a second. Perhaps, perhaps Max Misa just thought no, about it for a second. Billy, this is terrible because Kate comes back today, and if I'm not there, caught up to speed, she's, she's gonna fire me. It is it's most disconcerting that your sole reaction to my declaration of my innermost feelings is to lament your being late. You have no idea how much your question means to me. That's correct. I, I don't, which is why I, I would love some form of response. It doesn't have to be and a I, yes I or a no. I want to give you one, okay? A proper answer, the one that you deserve. But right now, I just don't have time. Can you help me find my shoes? going on here? I didn't hear anything about bumping anyone off or hiding bodies when I'm having a bad hair day. It's just all white noise. Uh, your hair looks fine. Thank you, whoever you are. Hey, the rest isn't half bad either. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, maybe some other time. Are you all right? I, I, I have to go. So, uh, about my start date. Don't hold your breath. Oh. Did Maxim just pass this way? Yeah, she's gone, and we're in the middle of something, so, you know, maybe we should go back upstairs. Or... Gone. Taking the jackal's heart with her. The blonde is yours? Normally, I would respect whatever causes Stone Cold to bring together the mob prince and him, but I must prevail upon Stone Cold to dismiss his lessers to have a private audience of dire importance. Please. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Barely. 
barely made it before Kate. She's due before lunch. Um, Federico's waiting for your call. Did you get the emails I forwarded you? They need to be responded to before Kate gets here. Where are the proofs from? They're right here. I don't know how you're going to explain to her the change of location. You know how she hates it when the instructions that she's given are changed. Uh, I'll handle Kate. Well, the proofs are in from a lot. Why are you answering the phone? Because uh, Spinelli has asked me to marry him. I probably shouldn't ask, but what happened? Uh, to start with, I... I forgive you for not coming to karaoke night at Jake's. It was a triumph, though, because, well, yeah, because the gods intervened and, 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 and rendered my pitch enhancing Mike useless. I, I just gazed into Max Mista's eyes and I found my inner Elvis, as it were, and swept my lady off her feet with dulcet tones. That miracle was followed by another, a night of sexual nirvana in which I, okay, I don't stop, even stop. know where... It's too much information. I'm happy for you, but what is so important that I had to kick everybody out? Upon wakening, there's further carnal bliss to be enjoyed. I heard. Oh, I guess the regrettably pink room isn't big enough to contain our can pleasure. You, can, you get, can you get to the point, right. please? Right. I was compelled to speak my heart's desire, which is to spend the rest of my life basking in her beauty. I asked for Fair Maximista's hand in marriage. Uh, what did she say? That she was late for work? Which seemed like an odd response. Have I been too hasty? Did my precipitous proposal ruin any future I have with Maximista? It is so like Spinelli to get romantic and carried away with this courtly love. I mean, was there, like, a special moment after you guys left Jake's? Yeah. Mind-blowing sex. Really? No. That wasn't a question. I don't want to know anything. Moment after. Yeah. Moment no, I that's I get it. Moment. Honestly, disgusting. After moment. Okay. Um, maybe it was like in his medieval manual after you have moments to propose. Yeah, I mean that's that's what I thought too. And Spinelli started telling me how happy he was with me and how much he loved me you and that he was too young to get married. I know. Okay, it must have been really hard to sensitively and politely tell him no. You were sensitive and polite, weren't you? You said no, right? Well, he was just so sweet and romantic and Spinelli. How was I supposed to do that? Maximista didn't, she didn't refuse my matrimony overture. I mean, that's a good thing, right? Marriage is a, is a huge decision. Yeah. Good for Maxie for taking her time. No, I, I am aware of the gravity of the situation. Marriage is, is forever, but that's exactly the amount of time that I want to spend adoring Maximista. <sighs> okay, I understand. But you, you know I've been married twice. Well, if, I, if I may interject, the first time didn't count. Your marriage to the mysterious Brenda yeah, was I annulled. Don't right? forget about the first one. But I married Courtney because we were in love. And it failed. Because we really didn't know each other. There were too many expectations. So my advice to you is just give you and Maxie some time. If the love is real, it's always going to be there. I can't help but observe that Stone Cold's own faith is so tempered with caution that he's ended up alone. <laughs> 